So it's like an airlock, but it can't be an airlock because she's full of diesel. On the both sides? No. But I'm puzzled. What the bloody... ticking over there in the background for a wee minute and we'll have a walk away so there's not so much noise but you'll have a look here there's a great growth coming back already on this now this is not this paddock's not even finished being grazed there's another section at the top yet and uh, one more night probably on it now the last time we topped it and um, it spread all the dung that's a great thing about the mower as well i shouldn't say top i should say mow it but topping is relative to what we're doing we're just using this mower but it does flatten all the cow pads all out spreads them all over the field so it's 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 doing the field the world of good it's um re-fertilizing it by doing that but what i do do now is because grass is growing relatively fast now at the minute we have a section up at the top here this just wouldn't be enough maybe for them all night and um, so what i'll do is i'll top this and I'll top it nice and tight and all this grass that you see these piles cows won't go near that but when it's mowed it lies on top of the ground and cows will eat it clean. They will clean the paddock completely and that will give them plenty then to eat tonight. But that's what I've done, trial and error. It works great. It leaves the paddock lovely and tidy then, um, ready for a nice fresh new grass to come. But we're gonna do a video on that. So we're not gonna to get too much into the into the benefits of a mower, but it's a video definitely to be worth watching. Just get back on the case here now. We'll uh, fold down the mower and put down the cover on that and we'll start topping. so I've been stopped dead in my tracks Um, seems like we have an airlock um, but I don't know why because we put on two new filters but funny enough this is not the first time she's done this but normally she comes out of it it's like as if um, it's just like as if I've ran out of diesel she dies down loses power and then she'll cut out if I let that tractor back 
and kind of, kind of get it turned around that way, it probably will start again. So it's like an airlock, but can't be an airlock. She's full of diesel, I think. Yep, yeah, she is full to the brim of diesel. What the bloody... Yeah, I'm going to have to make a phone call and find out what is actually going on here because um, this has happened a few times, but she's never actually fully stopped. Those of you that are probably following us on Instagram probably seen this happen before. Um, but I'm puzzled. This is just what I didn't need because it's actually getting very close to making time and I wanted to get this paddock done and now she's sitting in where the cows have to go tonight. Well, um, no, it's like as if she just simply ran out of diesel. Well, that little diesel um, primer that's on the side of it is uh, collapsing. You reckon, where is that? On the both sides. Okay, we are back in action. <laughs> We're solved. We got her moving again. Well, I'm just after starting. I haven't moved her yet, but I'm just after getting her started there. I couldn't film what I had to do because I was covered in diesel. I've actually been home. I've actually been back and forth on the quad a couple of times. Um, but basically, a 19 spanner is all I needed and a, and a bucket. Um, simple, very simple fix, but it's something I never knew anything about. Um, she was airlocked. She was actually wasn't sorry. She wasn't airlocked. She was starved of fuel Because um, I knew I'd changed the filters and things and I knew that it couldn't be anything in the system because I had bled everything out and I did it several times before and Everything seemed fine But anyway, what happened? Well, when I bought this tractor um, I had an issue always from day one with her kind of getting starved with fuel um, if I was working on steep ground, which we have all around us, loads of steep ground around here. If I was working on the side of a hill, if she was below half full, um, she would run out of fuel. Uh, it's happened umpteen times and I could never figure out why. But always when I get a drum of diesel and top her up, away she'd go again. But she'd be nearly three quarters full when she was doing this. So I'd have to fill her to the very brim and then she'd go flying again. But I noticed uh, that's been going on now for two three years it not a major issue it only happens a few times but back then about um a year ago it started to do it on the flat parts of the field so i always had to keep the tractor full the whole time never really could figure out what was causing it um but i just kept her full i didn't pass a huge amount of marks i just walked away with her and i knew it was something i was going to have to address sooner or later and i knew it wasn't serious it's just something um, in the fuel system. I was hoping it wasn't the pump. I was really hoping that it wasn't the pump But it turns out um, About two weeks ago. I put up an Instagram that had ran out of diesel Any of you that are following us on Instagram and um, will know that I put that post up And I was sure I just ran clean out of diesel because she was quite low and the same thing happened again She just completely cut out and stopped Built her up, started her, where she went again, but when she went she kept she wouldn't take over. She wasn't. She just wasn't running right. The power was pretty much gone completely out of her, and she just was not running right. I've noticed that for the past year. I thought maybe it was in my mind, but she, you come again a hill of that, she just seemed like she was cold and she just had no power. Turns out, quite a simple thing. Underneath your diesel tank, there's two little fellas here. See that guy there? There's a little drip still coming out of it because I'm only starting to tighten it. See that guy there? Well, there's two of them, one on both sides. So what happened is a 19 spanner, a bucket to catch any diesel. You loosen them two nuts, this is the bottom of both sides of the fuel tank. And in there, there's a steel filter, a steel mesh filter. I never knew there was any filter in there whatsoever. So that's as far as my mechanics went. Drop it out and check to see was the mesh blocked. He, the fellow I was spoken there on the phone um, told me, absolutely, I guarantee you, because this little bubble here that primes it, I thought it maybe had gone soft or something and that's it was sucking in itself and that was what starving the fuel but it wasn't actually the problem was much further back and um, it just basically could not get any fuel out of the tank and um, so the one on the far side was dirty yes it was dirty and I blew it out of an airline the one on this side was completely blocked so that was the reason that when I was tilted a certain angle I was getting no fuel whatsoever and that's why she would conk it out on the, on the on the verge of the hills if that makes sense so I cleaned both of them. Um, took a little while to get her to start, but once she started then, that was it. 
bang she seems to be flying now um i didn't move her yet but she's taken over and everything she's actually running a lot sweeter i'd know straight away that she's taken over an awful lot better than she was um a few weeks ago so easy fix but yeah it's just one of those things never knew it but i'm glad to know it now once i know it now i'll always keep an eye on it but it probably looked to me like it was something that hadn't been cleaned in god knows how long so any of you have a case 895 just clean them two little things it took five minutes to do it um it was just i wish i had it done in the yard not in the middle of the field if i wore a watch it probably took me about an hour to get this solved so i lost an hour of my day with you look at that's the joys of farming so we shade i see the spot you throw my way i know your name is written on everyone's mind that's the fence moved for tonight and uh, i left the fence and things behind over behind because i'll take them home in the morning i just don't have any room on the tractor and um, now some of you might ask no loader on the tractor um, and what's happening with that a lot of people message me and asking me when's the next part of the loader coming up yes we have nothing done and um, the only thing i done was i, I actually made a new battery box for the tractor um, i didn't make a brand new one i put a new floor on it and um re-sprayed it and just fixed it up it turned out really well but there is a video part to that that will be added in on the construction of that box and um, frames nothing done we haven't just literally touched her yet and um, my mechanic was coming that evening after i made the last video because of uh, personal reasons he just wasn't able to come so um he will be coming back um sometime in the very near future and we will be getting the loader fitted on just not in a panic as long as it's done in the next um couple of weeks we'd be we'd be happy enough and um, just to test it out give it a good test out to make sure everything's right come time when it's feeding time so we have a lot of things going on we're actually after taking the head off the shear grab um, and i'm currently after cutting off the brackets there yesterday and we're fitting on the euro brackets on it at the minute I have them sort of half welded on and um, they're all tacked into place now it's just a matter of sitting down getting a few hours to spare and just welding it on correctly and um, then we're going to probably send it off to get it sandblasted and re-coated or re-sprayed i should say so we can keep on working i have the head of the actual um quickie as well you remember the latch wasn't just working right well i put two new pins in it freed it up and i have it working well i'm waiting on a few things to come in and clark's um, just to just to finalize the little springs and things like that but um other than that it's it's still making progress i'm not really worried it's not going to take very long to stick the loader on a couple of evenings and it's going to be done so at least you got to see the mower going it's just unfortunate the one time i came over that that happened but it's actually i'm really glad that i got it fixed and um, because it's been on my mind for a little while i never mentioned any videos because when i was making the videos it actually never really came up it's just amazing them little things that you don't know and uh, someone just who knows what they're at can tell you straight away check this out that's what i done fixed up and running perfect only one thing about the mower is and uh, these jobs are very dirty on the mower give a little tap because it is quite heavy to cover and up it goes and it just it does cover the whole bed of the mower in dung it's very messy on, on a mower that's the only problem but um look at that's what a power washer is designed for
if I was going to mow a paddock or something like that there, I'd wash the bed. I wouldn't bother washing on the covers things, it doesn't need it. But I'd wash the bed of the mower out and then just run the run the grinder on the on the blades and um it's flying. An hour and you have everything ready to go. But we'll not say too much about it. I am eager to get telling you all about the, the this mower and the benefits and some disadvantages, yes, without a doubt there is disadvantages to it. But um I'm looking forward to really making that video. So we'll get on it someday very soon. Um now the weather's kinda good. It was raining a lot the last few days and I couldn't really get the camera out to do anything. It was nearly raining all the time and the wind was atrocious. Um it just really looked like winter was back. So that's it for this video. Um if you haven't subscribed already and you like our content, hit that sub button. We're not gonna cost you anything. Give us a like, comment and will. Until the next one, we'll talk to you again.